The prince sends me to its hellish hole. Oh, really? That is my path. The sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ancarn sarcophagus? Only shh, we swapped words about the terrible talisman. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Tell me more of this curious coffin. The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers who the vampires that could trace your lineage way back. There's a chance it'll end up with him at the moon. And for centuries, even sawing logs? Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. Ah, and such a horrendous hunger we will have. It's more than that. Most kids would think it's one of the signs of the end, the apocalypse. Every religion has their own version of it. Kindred call it Gehenna, and the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. That's not very nice. Is this real or a wives' tale? No one knows for sure, really. That's just a word that's been handed down through the ages. The Camarilla denies these ancients exist. Hmm. I wonder if there is a weight to these words. Well, Kenno, I guess you're going to be the one to find out. <laughs> hey, good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> yeah, mind your aim, Edward. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Um, yeah, we already asked you about all that. What's on you? Hmm, I am no longer here. Bye bye, Jackie. Anything new with Hilter? here? Hmm, nope. See ya. Well, we got all kinds of fun talking in there. Being all social. We should talk to the homeless folks and see what they were knowing. Except they don't want to talk to us. Oh wait, you do. What? Get away from me! Leave me alone! I need to know the disease that haunts the homeless. <coughs> oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away! Sing the song of shadow sickness, soulless one. Ah, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Where is this man of the cans? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Farewell, my bit braggled beauty. <laughs> Ooh, the truck moved. It's down here. Hi there. <coughs> Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you, Betty? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Ah, I see you wear the Dark Brother's mark. Eh? <laughs> Dark Brother? What are you talking about, boy? It's just me, old Tin Can Bill. Now leave an old man alone to sleep in peace. I don't want to be bothered unless you've got a bottle to share. May the shadows of the past haunt your present. Speak. It's a monster, you see. Monsters. Face all twisted and ugly. Teeth longer than your finger. His eyes. Piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before. Still giving me bad dreams. Keep your tongue wagging. He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <coughs> oh, God. The smell. Worse than anything I've... And then he bit me. My neck. Oh, God. It was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <laughs> Ever 
haven't been feeling too well since then. <laughs> Where did the bestial brother take you? Came up through the sewer gate. Just around the corner there. <laughs> Don't want to go back to the bad place again. <laughs> The beast your brother will haunt you no more. The beast your brother will pay the price for your puncturing. Oh, he got all sick. He got all sick and died. That's the sewers that I should investigate. Hmm. That does sound like something we could do. Well, I would like to get a bit of food first. Oh nom nom. Ooh. You're so weak around here. I suppose. Let's see, what stuff is left for us? Go down in the sewer, go to that club, go to confession, go to the Elizabeth Dane. Lucky Star Motel, I don't know where that is. And then that's funny riddle. Much power, come and find me where burns the mystical sun. Something about revenge. Lucky star. Interesting. Well, right now, I think we should save. Save up, and then maybe just take a little break. So, we'll be right back. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We got a bit more time for a bit more fun. So we should make up our mind and doing something that won't take very long. Hmm. That wouldn't be the sewer. Maybe we can find this Lucky Star Motel. Or go to this where it burns the mystical sun. Maybe just try to orient ourselves a little bit. That might be fun. Too close. Too close. Anything over here? No. Okay. Can we talk to the sign? That might be what they were talking about. Hmm. <laughs> so many places to go. Let's just spend a little time getting to know downtown a little bit better. Seeing what all there is to be seen. Looking through these little alleyways. Doesn't look like there's anything too exciting back here. Just a fun little alleyway. Good to know though, in case we need a place to hide our little selves. Albrook Hotel. 
Guess they won't let us in there just yet. Hmm. What's that? Hmm, a knife. That's something. Hmm. That's a fun little symbol. What's this place? Sign say. Sign says you are here. Doesn't indicate anything interesting about that. Here's another door. Hmm. Unmarked places these are. Hmm, I can't hurt to nose around a little bit. Surgical creatures. It's a book.